You got to look at that camera. Hello, all one dog. Name of me, Gerald Boston. Me like pull one dog from Papua New Guinea. Now me like well, Kim not a story. Long time from before yet. Hi, everybody. My name is Gerald Buston. I'm an old friend of Papua New Guinea's, and I want to tell you another story about before uh, when I came to New Guinea. And my name's Wendy. I'm his daughter. Now, I'm me got time to talk about me. I'm stop. I'm been born long Papua New Guinea, long Goroka. And the the person translating for him uh, that's here is is me, and I was born in uh, Papua New Guinea in Goroka. Now, last time me story me me story lo how me people did go inside lo place lo online widu. The last time he told the story, it was about how they went into the widu village. Now widu em em place belong Pangia. Pangia em a little town is stuff inside lo this widu valley. And so widu is in a place called Pangia, and Pangia is a little town that's in the widu valley. Valley. Now me people go come up now em. People are new people along all this people line blown uh, blown widow. And when they got there they were new to the area of and the people of the Widu Valley. Now me start long kissing talk place blow all them, ask him all kind of passion blow all. He started to learn to speak their language and ask about their culture and their customs. Now me talk you pull make him money blown long low too or you pull a belief long God or spirit or make him money you pull a belief or some money. And he asked them about how they believed about church and about God and about spirits and what they what their beliefs were. got witch doctor. They said we have a witch doctor. Now M M all we come now. Time people got sick, people say sing at him all. And the witch doctor comes and when we get sick, then we call for the witch doctor to come. Now M say we come, then say Karim Sambra Kain Leap become one time. And when the witch doctor comes, he brings leaves with him. Now M won't long sing at him all spirit. And he will call for the spirits. Now behind spirit and beg him to go see one people kind whistle. And then the spirit responds and answers with a whistle. <laughs> and make him some people kind noise all the same now. Now which doctor tell him to go to go and this people to murder blow you and me bell hard because you know kill him some people pig blow him. So then they would hear a whistle and then the witch doctor would say that's one of your ancestors that's upset because you didn't kill a pig for them. So you must kill him pig now. You give him half leg low me, but make how we go kai gain and not a fellow, you sell him go long spirit. And so he said, You need to kill a pig and give me part of it to eat and then the other part of it you can give to to sacrifice to the spirits. Now behind him side make you pull come up all right, no guy. And so he asked, then does the witch doctor make you better after that or, or no? Also, I am sorry, looking for some people and talk all spirit or shooting people what I'm spirit bow and arrow. He said, then the, the spirits will look at him and shoot them with a spirit bow and arrow. Now, this arrow he goes stop inside on skin blow people up. And then the arrow would go into their skin. Now, I'm told, witch doctor, I'm going to hold him past this person's skin and I'm pulling down and I'm coming at him one pala, sharp pala, all same head blown spear. And then the witch doctor would get a hold of their skin and then he would put his arms and pull on it and, and his hands would come out a sharp looking thing like a spear. Now me talk, ah, now I'm cutting skin, arousing this fellow bone and I'm out of no God, I'm rousing nothing that's all. And Pastor Buston asked them, did does the witch doctor cut their skin to get it out or does he just get it out? And they said, No, he just pulls it out. And me talk, I this fellow me no believe. He said, I don't believe that. Although I'm you red man blown another people up now you know how we pass you don't people So they told him he's just a red man from another place that doesn't understand their customs. So me no got way long we can straight him all so me lose him. So he didn't have a way to show them that that wasn't right so he let it go. That's all behind Christmas me go back long Calpena. But then at, later at Christmas he went to Calpena. Now time people are working Christmas low too. One for a man, he come forward and be like praying and kissing Jesus on Bethlehem. And then at Christmas, there was a man that came and gave his heart to Jesus. Now, long how long Calpena? Also, I call him this Bethlehem man Agathod. And in Calpena, the witch doctor's name is Agathod. And me knows him witch doctor. Man belongs to work in witchcraft and work in some kind of magic. That's place talk for witch doctor or a man that works magic. The name of man street him dumb. And the name of the man's name was Dama. So behind him come pray, finish me talk. Now we must talk to him, not asking you some of something. And so when he prayed, then the pastor asked him, now I want to ask you some questions. And so time all lines sick, you also sing out to you now. 
You say, how do you say, what a whistle or not? So he said, when people are sick, do they call you and do you hear a whistle or, or not? And the witch doctor said, yes, the people hear it, but it's me doing it. And he said, do you, Pastor Buston said, do you get a, a bow and arrow out of their skin or not? Now, this for a time, man thought, oh, if something true or looking, me rouse him, tassel him, me yet me make him. You know, some spirit need to make him and those happen. And the witch doctor said, yes, they see me do that, but it's me that's doing it, not the spirits that are doing it. And talk time, I'll sing out to me, me be animal, what I go to me, find him some of a stony, look sharp, look on him head, blow up all arrows. So he said, when they call me to come, I go to the rivers and I find a sharp little stone that looks like an arrowhead. Let me hide him inside a little leaf. And then I hide it in the leaves. The time we will go see at the spirit, we will go shake him, leave me go now. Behind me suing this pillar stone, he's going to hide him inside a hand blow me. And so when I'm singing, calling for the spirits to come, I'm shaking the leaves and then I put the, the stone in my hand and hide it in my hand. Now behind me show him all to him now. I'm this pillar, something started inside of you, now me get my name through. And then later I show them and say, here, see, this was inside of you, but I'm lying and it's not true. And to him, business blow me, not to kill him, give him me, now me some go kind guy, now him, business blow me, me walking, that's all, you know, to do something, blow power, blow spirit. And he, he said, this is my business, this is how I make the money, because they kill pigs and give it to me, and that's why I get to eat, but it's not true, it's just me having a business, not the real spirits. Me go, all right, one day you must go, one day me long, all place blow, all we do. So pastor said, okay, I want you to go with me to the to the village of the widows. Now this for time, me go, one day, one for a friend blow me, and I said, I believe you for a name, William Peter Papu. Pastor Buston went with a friend of his, and some of you all know him, Peter Papal. Peter Papal, behind him come up ambassador, M. Wolong Government, Wolong PNG. Later, Peter Papal became an ambassador and worked for Papua New Guinea in the government. That's all. At this point, I'm a young monkey, and walk about one time, this is a doctor, and I meet three people, and go come up along melee. But at this time, Peter Papal was a young man, and he and Pastor Buston and the witch doctor went trekking and came up into Melly. They come up along Melly Station now and uh, old man talk, hey, who's that? This poor man, I'll point him out to the man. So then when they got there, the, the people from Weedu Valley asked Pastor Buston, who is this man? And they were asking about the witch doctor. Me talk, oh, hey, man, sorry, Pastor, blow you pull and you pull us out, we sing out him all, all witch doctor and I walk him kind, kind magic. And this for a man, he's having a the economy comes where we can talk clearly on you, Bala. And Pastor Buston said, oh, he's a witch doctor that understands what you guys are doing when you're working with magic and with the spirits. And so I brought him so he could talk to you about his story. Me told next Sunday, you will talk him all get the line, village, blow you, Bala. must come. And man, by his story, blow you, Bala. So Pastor Buston said, next Sunday, come and tell all your friends to come because this witch doctor is going to tell you some stories. Man, next Sunday, yeah, like, like house load to blow people, I am, am, am Kunai house, and pull up straight all my money. So the next Sunday, the whole entire church was full of people. It was a little grass church, but it was completely packed of men and women. Now, behind this pillar, man, Kalpana, witch doctor, and he sat up down, and we like, talk, talk. So then the witch doctor from Kalpana got up and began to talk. Now, every story now, the beginning will be whistle. So then he told the story and then he, he acted out the whistle. All man very afraid no good through auto ah him no good spirit kaika you me. And so then everybody got upset and said, Oh no, what if the spirits eat us? And told you know something blow spirit in me, yet me woke him, my mouth blow me. And the witch doctor said, It's not the spirits, it's me doing it with my own mouth. And told me no say make him or say you looking me make him no same no god. And told me hiding that so that me selling this talking come outside, this fellow whistle. So he told them, it's not like you can see my mouth doing it. It's me. I'm doing it, but it's doing it in a way so you can't see it, and it's whistling. Now, all man, I think all line gambling you mean now. All witch doctor, you mean all must game online, yeah. So the witch doctor said, oh, no, I think the people are lying. The witch, uh, the people said, oh, no, I think the witch doctors are lying to us. Now, all go back to the village, and all confront him. All go bring him, all witch doctor, all talk, you go all game man straight. So they went back to their village and they said to the witch doctors, we think you're lying to us and you're a liar. I, this for the time, Paipala, I think Papua New Guinea and Yumi told us, Paipala. 
Which doctor line? All confess that your M3, M equal treatment, as well, people are gamma, you know, something to do, people make it. So at that time, there was five witch doctors that confessed and said, yes, we're lying, and it's not something that the spirits are doing, it's something we're doing. Now all people, all Hamas, now we put a look in us, blow this, blow this, something here. So now the people were happy, and they said, now we see the actual truth of what this is really doing. All one dog, story, me thinking, going up, long now, that's all, but me hang him up in his table, this will have, that's all. Okay, so this is enough for the story for right now, but we're going to stop right now. Behind, next time, me like story long, you pull along, how me pull a boom him spirit long, what pull a spirit to do? Inside long, we do, barely, now this pull a time, go, Jesus, he win, because Jesus, strong long, Jesus, he win him strong long, all get out of the spirit. So the next time, you don't want to miss it because we're going to tell you the rest of the story about how we actually did encounter an evil spirit in one of the grass huts in the Wee New Valley. But Jesus was stronger because Jesus is more powerful than any demon spirit. So you will must wait this time and I'll you for the next week. Long this finish in this story. So you guys be sure and join us and hang on till next week when we're going to finish the story. All right. Goodbye, all one dog. God bless you, you will. Goodbye, friends. God bless you. Make sure you share this with your friends and continue to share the PNG One Talk page. We have some things we're working on we can't wait to share with you guys as well. So uh, we want to just make sure you get the word out there and share this with all your friends. God bless you. We're praying for you. Send us your prayer request. In fact, I think, why don't you pray right now for the PNG? All right. I think you, you, you may bet in asking blessing from God. Papa God, me brother, thank you because you, yet you've been selling good news, bro. You go long, Papa, when you get in. Plant him on me now, I'll hire him, I'll believe. That's what me pray. Bless him, bro. You stop, bro. This for new, bro. Come on. Now you must give him good, bro. Steer and a good, bro. Ting, ting, bro. Online, bro. All he can be an impassion, the light, bro. You, that's all. Me pray, bro. Bless him, bro. You cut him up in this, bro. Country, all get that, bro. Name, bro. Jesus. Amen. Okay, we're praying for you guys. We know there's a lot of things going on with the new government, a lot of challenges that you're facing, but we're believing God for victory for PNG, and God's got you, and God's got Papua New Guinea in his hands. We'll see Amen. you next week. God bless.